jobs and sending Viennese commuters waltzing off to work with a smile. The sturdy Shire Horse of England has his day at the National Shire Horse Centenary Show. The history of this gentle giant is one of tireless service to the land. But today, at the East of England showground in Peterborough, he's content to show his paces to thousands of admirers. From Movie Tone's archives, a glimpse into the cart horse's workaday world at the start of the century. The Shire is descended from the Old English Great or Black Horse. As patron and president of the society, the Queen has always shown great interest in the breed. The Shire breed was highly prized by past monarchs of England, from King John to Henry VIII, for its ability to carry the tremendous weight of an armoured knight. A keen and knowledgeable horseman is Prince Philip. When armoured knights became rather thin on the ground, the Shire was turned to agriculture. Indeed, it's now the chief agricultural horse of England, an equine yeoman much loved and respected by country folk. The purpose of the society when it was founded a hundred years ago was simply to establish a cart horse lineage, but interest grew. This is a beautiful animal, gentle yet amazingly powerful. An honor is proudly awarded and accepted. Shires are adaptable. Although descended from pre-Roman conquest breeds, and after that from the great English black horse, few shires are that colour nowadays, being principally bays and browns. This courageous animal is of course now subjected to the pressures and mechanical competition of modern life. Roads on which he was once king are now not even safe for him. But the Shire survives and even thrives, as he has done for century after century.